Hey guys, my name is Casey and I am a speech language pathologist that teach parents and caregivers how to build their child's communication skills right at home. And today I have partnered with Speech Blubs to answer some really common questions that a lot of parents have. Today we are answering the question, what is apraxia? Childhood apraxia of speech, also called CAS, is a neurological childhood speech sound disorder. This can be due to neurological impairments or developmental disabilities. Children with this diagnosis have difficulty planning and consistently producing sequences of speech movements. These difficulties tend to limit a listener's understanding of the child's speech and it prevents the child from producing intelligible speech. That just means that it makes it harder for the child to be understood when they use verbal language. Let's talk a little bit about what it means to make a plan for speech. When we try to communicate, an idea forms in our brain as to what we want to say. Our brain thinks of the words for our messages and puts them in the correct order using the correct grammar. This information translates into a series of highly coordinated movements. Movements that include our lips, our tongue, our jaw, our palate. Here's a couple of facts about childhood apraxia of speech. It is not very common. It occurs in one to two children per 1,000. It occurs more in males than in females. Children born with childhood apraxia of speech have a higher likelihood of being diagnosed with subsequent language, reading, and writing disorders. So how do you know if your child has childhood apraxia of speech? Currently, there are no distinctive features that discriminate CAS from other speech sound disorders, but there are features that have been consistently noted in children who have been diagnosed with CAS. Some of those features are inconsistent errors in vowels and consonants on syllables and words. So for example, the child might say ball correctly three times and then say it wrong the rest of the time. So again, the errors are inconsistent. Another feature is lengthened and disruptive periods between words and sound. A child who exhibits this type of behavior will pause at odd times when they're saying sentences, or they may break their words up into chunks, which can make communication really difficult and hard to follow. The third feature might be inappropriate prosody. Now let me tell you what this means. This means that the child may have patterns of their voice being loud, quiet, or nasally, but this isn't something that the child is actually aware of. Children who are suspected to have childhood apraxia of speech should be referred to a speech language pathologist for a full evaluation and diagnosis. Again, do not pass go, do not collect $200. Early intervention comes from early identification. To learn more about the signs and symptoms of childhood apraxia of speech, head over to the Speech Blubs website. You can also do something like download the Speech Blubs app and start practicing speech sounds with your child right at home today. Hopefully this video has helped you understand a little bit more about childhood apraxia of speech. And if you did find this video to be helpful, leave this emoji in the comments below, share it with the parent friend, and we will see you next time. Bye.